Hey guys, what's up? It's Heidi. So it's officially January 2014 and I need to do my December wrap up and January TBR. So let's get into that. Woo! Alright, so I read a total of six books in December, which is pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with that and they were all pretty good sized books. So I'm going to show you those, tell you what I thought, and then I'll tell you what I'm planning on reading in January. The first book I read is William Shakespeare's Star Wars. <laughs> And this is a Shakespearean style, oh, doesn't help if I open to an act to show you what I'm talking about. This is Shakespearean style Star Wars and it was really great, it was really funny, R2-D2 is hilarious. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars just because I'm terrible when it comes to reading things that I already know the plot of. I get kind of restless pretty easily, but it was really funny. If you like Shakespeare stuff and you like Star Wars, you should probably check it out because it's kind of funny. R2-D2 is, that's all I have to say. The second book I read in December was Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, and holy crap, this book was amazing. I was kind of iffy about Cinder after I finished reading it, but this was, oh, this proved the series to me. This was a great book, and I am now flippin' excited as crap for Cress, which comes out in February, and I believe it's based on Rapunzel. This is based on Red Riding Hood, though. It introduces another main character apart from Cinder, and it's amazing. And I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, because it was really good. And I read it pretty quickly, and I didn't get sick of the romance, which tends to be a problem with me. But this time I really liked it. So, 5 out of 5 stars for Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. Good job. Good series. G can I have Cress now? Please, thank you. The next book I read also gets a whopping 5 out of 5 stars, and that is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. This is the first Neil Gaiman book I have ever read, and holy crap. I need to read more Neil Gaiman. This book is The Jungle Book, except for instead of growing up in the jungle, the boy grows up in a graveyard and he has little ghosts, ghost people, as his family. And it's really adorable and I love it and it was so good and Neil Gaiman, where have you been all my life and why haven't I done anything about this until now? I also own American Gods and I will be reading that very soon because it, this is so good. This is a good book. Go read this. Also, there's a weeping angel on the cover. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but that's a little terrifying. The next two books were books I read for the Booktubeathon that happened around Christmas time. It's like the Friday to the Sunday before Christmas. And that was tons of fun, first of all. Had tons of fun tweeting all of you and reading with you and reading sprints and it was really great. I only read two books but that's okay because they were really really good books. Those books were Legend and Champion by Marie Lu. I can't with this series you guys. Um, Day is officially my favorite character. Uh, yeah. I have very few characters that are, I like as much as him. And <laughs> so this series I liked Legend, the Legend was good. I give it a 4 out of 5 stars. I gave both of these 5 out of 5 stars. Prodigy, I liked a little more than Legend and Champion. I can't deal with it. It's so good and I need to move to Antarctica so I can play a video game as my life. Champion was amazing and I'm kind of sad that I didn't read it quicker so that I could participate with you guys freaking out about it when it first came out. I cried the second half of my day 2 update from Booktubeathon is basically me recovering from crying at 2 in the morning. So if you're interested in seeing me at 2 in the morning delirious crying over a book, that's the video you need to go watch. The last book I read was Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss and I have heard so many good things about this and let me tell you they are all 100% true because this book has the most badass character female heroine assassin chick you will ever read in your entire life. This chick will murder everybody and everything you love. But it's okay because she's amazing and I'm in love with her and <laughs> I had a really good reading month because this also got 5 out of 5 stars so that's pretty much all of the books I read got 5 out of 5 stars. This is, I'm, um, oh. I don't know if I liked this or champion more this month but 
they were both very close and they were both amazing and I read them both very very quickly because I could not get enough of them. So that is what I read in December and let's get into my January TBR. So the first book I'm planning on reading is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making and let me tell you how long it took me to say that in one take without messing up. This is by Catherine M. Valenti, Valente, I don't really know how to say your name, I'm sorry, but I'm already like a hundred pages into this book and it's so cute. If you can't tell by the title, this is a great book and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's really adorable. It's like a children's book but at the same time it says all of these really deep things and you're just like, wow, world is intense. So this is just a really amazing book and I'm loving it so far and I'm probably going to finish this as I am uploading this video. The next book I'm going to read is Crown of Midnight and yes this is just the dust jacket because it's sitting in the other room and I'm too lazy to go get it. This is the second to Throne of Glass and I'm very very excited because I need to know what happens next and I need more of Selena in my life. I need more of her. She's so amazing. So I'm definitely going to be reading this. One thing I do want to do this year is read all of the series of Unfortunate Events books again. And so since there's 13 books in the series, I can basically read one a month, except for one month I'd have to read two. And I chose the first month because the start of the series, their books are all really short. So I'm going to be reading The Bad Beginning and The Reptile Room by Lemony Snicket, the first two books in the series of Unfortunate Events. If you haven't read these books or heard about them, they are the most amazing, hilarious book series you will ever read, ever. That's probably not ever, but they're really flippin' good. And they're so funny, and I love Lemony Snicket. So my arm's getting tired. <laughs> so I'm really excited to read those again because it's been years and years and years since I've read them, and I'm really excited. Another book I'm going to be reading in January is Fablehaven, Secrets of the Dragon Sanctuary. This is the fourth book in the Fablehaven series, and I was trying to finish this before the end of 2013, but it didn't happen. So I'm planning on reading this this month and maybe the last one, but who knows. Um, I actually haven't read this one. I've only read the first three in the series, so I am officially venturing into new territory. <laughs> so. I'm pretty excited about this and uh, this this thing looks really creepy. I don't know what it is, but it's a little terrifying. That doesn't look like a dragon. That looks like a crazy sea creature of doom eating a silver egg. Another book that I want to read in January is Artemis Fowl by Owen Colfer and I love this series. I've already read it once, but I really want to reread it. It's been a while. This is probably one of my favorite series, if not my favorite series, of my childhood. And this is about a little boy genius who discovers uh, fairies that live underground, and that sounds really weird, but it's actually really awesome. And if you haven't read it, I definitely suggest at least picking up the first one and seeing if you like it, because there's eight in the series, and they're all really, really amazing, and I want to reread the whole series because it's been a while. And yeah. So I'm excited about reading this again because I miss it and I miss Artemis. He is, he is my buddy. So that is it for my January TBR. I will probably read a couple other books maybe I don't know yet, but that's all I have planned so far. So let me know down in the comments what you're planning on reading for the month of January or what you read in December or anything else you want to tell me about yourself or what you read or something like that creepy I don't know. But make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and hit subscribe if you like me, and I will see you next time. Bye!